Click on a borehole ID and notice the water level data. There are two aquifers sampled at various dates. For this exercise, we'll be creating a February 14, 2007 potentiometric grid model for Aquifer 1. Select the Aquifers Plan Map option. Activate the Date Time filtering, set the time to exact, and set the date to 2-14-2007. Set the aquifer to Aquifer 1. Set the map type to Superface Elevations. Click on the Diagram Options button. Turn off everything except for the items shown within this example. Select the Borehole Locations tab and set its options as shown here. Click on the Aquifer Data tab and then click on the Aquifer button. Select Aquifer 1 from the list of aquifers. Activate just the superface elevation for the aquifer annotation and delete the prefix. Click on the Colored Intervals tab and set the scheme to two colors. Click the OK button to close this dialog. Then click the Process button. When the map appears, minimize the Rules and Filters panel. You may have noticed that this program never asked for the name of the grid model that is depicted by this contour map. Return to the main Rockworks menu and click on the plus icon to view the Project Manager. Expand the grid model's item. The Aquifers Plan program actually created three grids whose names start with the aquifer name, followed by the date, and then the grid type, being base, isopack, and top. The map that we just created was based on the top grid, which we'll be using in the next exercise.